the salmon burger. And I'm gonna start by making the quick pickled veggies. One and a half cups of vinegar and a half a cup of water straight into a pan. We're gonna turn that on a low heat and then get some seasoning in there. Pickling spice has all the things you need. There's allspice seeds and fennel and mustard seeds. It's got all this great flavor. So we're gonna put a couple teaspoons right into the liquid. Then we need a little salt. So this is just the pickling liquid. Now let's get the veggies in there. Mandolin always makes it easier if you want a thinner cut, but you do have to be careful. Persian cucumber. So the thinner they are, the more the flavor will get into your veggies. The liquid is bubbling up, so we'll get them in so they can start pickling while I slice in the Fresno chili. We're gonna keep all the seeds and we're just gonna slice it nice and thin. And this is what's gonna give you your flavor and your spice. And then some beautiful shallot rings there. So I'm not gonna let that do its magic, and then I'll get started on the salmon burgers. So let's make this easy. Let's make the food processor do all the work. The reason I'm putting the red pepper in first, these guys are gonna need a little bit more help getting chopped up. I'm gonna give this a quick pulse. Okay, and then some onions. And I wanna get the stems of cilantro in there because the stems have a lot of flavor. Then some lime zest. So I'm just gonna cut just the rough outside layer of the ginger. Then I'm just gonna chop this up. Some garlic, just give that a rough chop. And then pulse this. That looks good. Time for the salmon. Just got a pound of salmon here. So we're just gonna cut them into one and a half inch chunks. There is no skin on this. Now, we really don't want to pulse this too far because I really want to see beautiful pieces and chunks of salmon in the salmon burger. And let's get some more flavor in there. We have some sweet chili sauce, just a tablespoon, and then some sesame oil, but only a teaspoon. You do have to be gentle with it because it's very, very strong. And then some soy sauce, just to add a little bit of saltiness to this without adding salt. And then we need some panko breadcrumbs, one and a quarter cups to help bind it all together. Oh, it already smells so amazing. You can really smell the sesame oil. So now we're gonna put these guys together. Now I'm just gonna put one together. First, let's get some oil heated up. We'll make half inch thick patties using about a half a cup per burger. Look at how beautiful and colorful that is. I love it. Cook these patties four minutes per side. Yummy. I'm gonna get my bun started with some mayo. All right, I'm gonna grab my bun. Let's get some of these quick pickled veggies. I want a little bit of everything. And then top it off with some beautiful cilantro. It looks good enough to eat. So colorful. Mmm. Yeah. Wow, that's so delicious. 